I wanted to make a quick video about uh, an issue that I've had since moving to a new uh, home about five years ago. There was a trunked radio system that I used to listen to a lot and uh, just couldn't hear it here. A um, little too far away, have a pretty big mountain ridge blocking me, and uh, it's a linear simulcast system. So um, lots of directional antennas in use for that, uh, for that system and uh, all to try and keep that RF within the county that I'm trying to monitor, which is Morris County in northern New Jersey. And uh, I'm here in southwestern Union County. Um, so geography and system design have uh, pretty much handicapped me to never be able to listen to it. It doesn't work on any of the dongles. Um, it doesn't work on any of the scanners that I have. Um, I tried putting an LNA on the scanner antenna, and, uh, you know, it was just too broadbanded and overloaded pretty much everything. <laughs> um, you know, between broadcast AMs, uh, FM stations and uh, some other stuff that's pretty strong local to me, that... Uh, wasn't an option, so I built something just out of stuff I had uh, lying around. Um, I built a, uh, a, a relatively long Yagi here, cut for about 480 meters. Really, no rocket science, um, you know, very hastily put together. It's not like this was tested for um, point of resonance or standing wave ratio or anything like that. Uh, just wanted to get close. Um, so put it up, and uh, the results have been pretty positive. Um, just so you know, there's a diplexer here, so I kind of use it almost like a high-pass filter. Everything below 400 megahertz gets cut off, um, by, uh, by quite a few dB. Um, so it, you know, blocks out all of the, uh, broadcast band stuff. Um, there's some two-meter, uh, machines pretty close to me that are, that'll easily overload these things. So, um, you know, it's, a uh, uh, that's what, that's what that is there for. Um, and, uh, the, uh, low noise amplifier and right on down to the, uh, to the uh, radio so um pretty straightforward again this is really crude i mean like this is not what you would do if you were trying to build an antenna you were going to transmit into but uh but it gets the job done so here is the difference so here is the dongle connected to the scanner antenna um, and i'm going to hop over to the dongle that has the um that has the uh, yagi on it <laughs> and you can see there's a pretty big difference um almost night and day same uh, pretty much i'm pretty sure it's almost the same gain figures but whatever it, it made all the difference um i can hear it now ironically i can't hear it on any of my uh, commercial scanners uh, specifically the bearcat 996t um, that thing just has issues with lsm systems and those continue to persist so i can't hear it at all on that um, which is a real shame um, i just want to go ahead and select this other dongle so it doesn't interfere so let's cut over and um now we're going to take a look at uh, how this works on the, uh, uh, now how SDR trunk works, uh, being able to monitor the system. Before, honestly, I couldn't decode anything. And uh, hopefully now this is going to give you an idea of how well it works. We'll start this up and I'll let it run for a little bit to get you some audio. Um, it's not perfect by any means, but uh, it's a lot more than I had before. Park 6660 Bravo. 69-year-old male, difficulty breathing, leg swollen, can't move his right arm. ALS is being dispatched. One vehicle is going to be on Tommy, the other is going to be on Main Street, not long track. Okay, we're going to be tied up. See if the 18 car can cover it. If not, spot off the road. There's some 18 car available. Uh, back line of township 60, Larry Lamp for squad call. Sure, send this to 45. 845060, Lowry Lane for a 95 year old male feeling dizzy. So, hopefully, that gives you an idea. Just a little bit of um, stuff lying around. You can put together something that works pretty well for pretty cheap. And you can make these antennas for virtually any frequency. I think I use K7MEM's calculator. Uh, Kilo 7 mic echo mic, if you want to look it up online. Um, but most designs will work just fine. And uh, like I said, it really made a big difference. And by the way, the beam width is, is pretty narrow, as to be expected. Uh, so, you know, outside of, of uh, 15, 20 degrees of being pointed dead on towards one of the uh, simulcast towers, and uh, we're back not in business. So um, uh, the longer the boom you make, the more elements you add, the more tight the uh, beam width's going to be. Just keep that in mind. Okay, thanks for watching.